Victoria Police are looking for a pair of robbers tonight, two lowlifes who targeted young girls. The victims are just 11 years old and they were walking together near the Hillside Shopping Center when the couple approached them. At first, the man and woman seemed to be friendly, but their demeanor changed quickly and within seconds, they had grabbed the girls and threatened their lives. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. It's really sad how people just do that. 11-year-old Bailey is still shaken. I probably won't go anywhere without my parents for a little bit until because I'm still horrified that something will happen again. Bailey and her friend, threatened and robbed last evening, are still trying to understand why. Anybody who chooses little kids to prey on, uh, that's pretty sick. The girls were on their way home from an after-school visit to Hillside Mall. Not an unusual occurrence. They were walking down North Derry when they were passed by a couple described as being in their early 20s. The woman turned around and asked the girls for the time. She seemed really nice at first, so we gave the time to her. but. No. And then the tone certainly changed. Uh, the girls were robbed of their phones and of their backpacks at that time. The woman told them to give up their stuff or they would be stabbed. And after they handed it over... She said, um, if you tell anybody about this, we will, we will find you and kill you. I felt really dizzy, but I was just really scared. So we walked away and started, and as soon as we turned the corner, we started running to my house. Where her mom immediately called 911. I was happy because I wasn't alone. Like, who knows what they would have done if I was alone. I would have been more terrified than I already was. Police say the theft of cell phones isn't becoming a real problem here, but a crime on kids this young is alarming. Well, certainly anytime something like this happens, it's a very big concern for us, uh, but we're not seeing a huge trend in terms of this. Bailey's mom says the incident won't prevent her from replacing her daughter's cell phone. And just having that contact with her, it gives me such peace of mind. Um, I hate that this had to happen to her, um, but I'm not against her having a cell phone. The pair is described as being Caucasian and in their early to mid-twenties. Both dressed in black, the man had a hood up over his head, and the woman, about five foot six, had shoulder-length dark hair. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.